Hi everyone, this is our channel, Meet the Real Story. Please, like, share and subscribe. Hi, I am Ralph. I am 19 years old. I have simple secret that I like my mother. Don't judge me, just listen to my story. I had a quiet family, kind mother and loving father. We had stable lives in our far state. But as you know, there is no place for happy life in our world. There was a turning point in life and it came quickly with me. It was a nice day in our garden, me, my mother and my father. My father was sitting under a tree reading a book. Me and my mother were playing football. Suddenly, mom overshot and the ball went into the street. I was too young to think, I just ran quickly to pick the ball. There was a fast car. The driver was screaming at me, stay away, but I did not. My mother sacrificed herself to rescue me. I fainted and when I woke up, I saw my mother's blood everywhere. My father was crying. There were a lot of people. Our lives changed to be gloomy. He was surrounding me by many looks. I thought he blamed me because of her death. He was so sad. I left my friends. I did not talk with people. I was just eight years old. I was thinking of killing myself. I would like to escape from this blame. Suddenly, my father decided to marry. I shocked because I could not imagine any other woman instead of my mother at home. He said in a firm voice, she will be at home soon. He asked me to be a good boy. I entered my room and started crying. I could not imagine. But I decided to annoy her. When she prepared food, I immediately threw it. Her only reaction was a kind smile. While my father was staying at home, I insisted by bothering her by doing a lot of noisy things. My father was shouting and she always protected me. I said to myself, maybe she is a good woman and she loves me. One time while she was cooking, she had a phone call from a hospital. It was an urgent matter. I was watching TV. She came in to me and said, Ralph, my sister is in the hospital and I have to go. Can you take care of cooking? I did not care. She smiled and went out. I went to the kitchen and turned up the heat to burn the food. But the fire did not just burn the food. It started to burn home too. There was fire everywhere. I could not breathe. Then I fainted. I woke up, but I did not know where am I. I looked around and saw my stepmother sleeping. She looked exhausted and there was cinder on her face. Suddenly the door opened and I discovered that I was in the hospital. The nurse said, get well soon. I asked her what happened. She told me that there was a big fire at our home and my mother is a brave woman. She entered home and rescued me in the last moment. I looked at her. I discovered that she is a great woman. She woke up suddenly and asked me, are you okay? I hugged her and cried. I said, sorry for everything. She said, it is okay. I can understand. I considered her my mother. I started to help her in everything at home. She helped me a lot. I supported her a lot until her last illness. Today, I'm standing in her gravesite. I want to tell her that I love her a lot.